So what I've been experiencing uh, as I'm building electric cars since the 90s, uh, brake pumps, the vacuum pumps that provide the vacuum for the cars, uh, seem to short cycle all the time. Um, what I've noticed, this is the pump that was from my original car here that uh, short cycled all the time. What I found is the little vacuum part of it actually goes right next to the pump and when the pump relaxes the vacuum drops just a hair causing the switch to come on and off on and off which ended up wearing out this nice pump so it would not hold any air any vacuum it would it would leak back out so this is the assembly that was built when I bought this car uh, this actually bolts onto the transmission uh, I put the canister on, but I replaced that pump with one of these uh, eBay silver uh, turbine type pumps. Anyway, what I did find was that any of these vacuum switches, such as this one, uh, this one seems to turn the vacuum off at 10, but there's no he no hysteresis, which means that it just sits and and turns the pump on and off, on and off, which is why all these pumps are wearing out. So I did go online and I found this style of switch, which just happens to have a little bit of hysteresis to it. Now rather than hooking this to the output of the pump in this part here, I've actually hooked it up into the canister output, which will then go into uh, the rest of the car. Uh, this output goes to the actual brake booster. This one here controls the um, uh, vents and stuff like this because I still have the the regular vent system hooked up. But if you put it at the output of the canister, not the uh, the output of the pump, it seems to do less. And if your system is nice and tight, it holds vacuum, then the switch won't cycle this and it won't sit there and run on and off, on and off all day long. So that's what I recommend. Put your vacuum switch after the canister, after the canister's chuck valve, so that the canister will hold enough vacuum so it doesn't short cycle and your pump will last a lot longer.